In this video, we're going to do our second uh, example of multiplying and dividing complex numbers. In this question, we're told z and w are two complex numbers where z is equal to negative 9 plus 3 root 3i. Three we're told the modulus of w is equal to root 3 and the argument of w is 7 pi by 12. We need to express the following in the form r cos theta plus i sine theta. So we want a, z, b, w, c, z, w and d, z over w. We need to ensure that theta is between negative and positive pi. Okay, so let's look at this form. This, this polar form is what we call modulus argument. This is the modulus, this is the argument. We can say that the modulus of z is equal to r, which is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So let's have a look at this one right here. If we square this, what we're going to get is 81. Negative 9 squared is 81. If we square 3 root 3, we're going to get 27. Therefore, r, in this case, which we need for z, we're going to have r is going to be the root of 108. And what's that going to be? It's 3 times 36, so it's going to be 6 root 3. So we can say that r is going to be 6 root 3, and that is the modulus. Now we need to find the argument, and as stated in the, the first sort of video, you can find this however you want. We know we're going to be somewhere over here, okay? Negative 9 plus 3 root 3i three is somewhere over here. The way I like to do this is take pi and then subtract away the absolute value of this um, angle right here, the argument. We find the argument by doing the inverse tangent of y over x. But what I'm going to do is the modulus of that. So I'm going to do the mod, and I'll put it in here, of, we're going to have 3 root 3 over minus 9, which I can write as root 3 over 3. Um, that is useless, isn't it? That really is absolutely useless. Let's make that bigger. So what I've got now, and you can put that through a calculator if you wish, we're going to do the inverse tangent of the modulus of, we're going to have now root 3 over minus 3. Now root 3 over 3 is going to give me pi by 6. So the tan of root 3 over 3 is pi by 6. So if I subtract away uh, pi by 6 from pi, I'm going to have 5 pi by 6. So we can say that arg z now, and you can find that however you want, arg z is going to be equal to 5 pi by 6. Therefore, z in the form r cos theta plus i sine theta can be written as 6 root 3 cos of 5 pi by 6 plus i sine of 5 pi by 6. And that right there is going to be z. So we'll just bracket that off. Now, we're told that the mod of w, the modulus, the absolute value of w is root 3. So we can now express this. Remember that this mod w is the r value. So if we call in this one r1, okay, we will say that r2 is going to be root 3. And then we've got the argument, which we could call theta 2, as the other one was theta 1. We're going to have cos of 7 pi by 12 plus i sine 7 pi by 12. And they are both now in polar form or modulus argument form. So we've done the first two bits of a question with that. So let's put those on, and that's what we want. So there they are. We now need the product of the two. In the last video, we discussed when we multiply complex numbers, we multiply their moduli and add the arguments. So if I now multiply the moduli, root 3 times by root 3 is 3 times by 6, we're going to end up with ZW is going to be equal to root 3 times by root 3 times by 6 is 18. We now need to add their arguments. So if we now grab a pen, adding their arguments, we're going to be adding 5 pi by 6 2, 7 pi by 12. Now if I switch this up, I'm going to get 10 by, pi by 12. So 10, uh, 10 pi by 12 plus the 7 pi by 12. And that gives me a total of 17 pi by 12. Now consider that it has to be between negative pi and uh, positive pi. Therefore, what I'm going to have on this one is minus, and we're going to be on this, coming back so we're going to have now negative 7, so let's just go, uh, let's have a look at this one. So it's gone 5 pi on, so this is going to be negative 7 pi by 12, 
okay? That, remember, has to fit in with our interval from zero, uh, so from negative pi to positive pi. So what we've done, we've fitted it into this interval, um, and now we can rewrite this. So what we can say then is that the product ZW, so ZW is going to be equal to 18 cos of negative 7 pi by 12 plus I sine of negative 7 pi by 12. And as we stated in a video beforehand, don't be surprised to see that written as ZW is equal to 18 cosine of 7 pi by 12 minus sine of 7 pi by 12 as uh, cosine is an even and sine is an odd function. If you need to recap that, switch back one video and we've discussed it then. Okay, what we're now going to do then is um, the Z over W example. So when we're dividing, we divide the moduli and we subtract the argument. So when we get Z over W, let's look what we're going to be doing. We know now that Z has a, a moduli of 6 root 3, W has a moduli of, or modulus I should say, modulus of 6 root 3, W has a modulus of root 3, so that means that we're going to have 6, 6 root 3 divided by root 3 is root, uh, it's just 6. Then what we need to do is subtract these, so let's subtract them now. So switching this back up, what we're going to have is 10 pi by 12, and then we're going to minus for 7 pi by 12, okay, and that's going to give us 3 pi by 12, which of course we can write now dividing top and bottom by 3 pi by 4. So we can express this as the following. We can write that ZW, or Z, sorry, Z over W, is going to be equal to 6. Then we can have cosine of pi by 4 plus I sine of pi by 4. And there we've done, all done. So we've used the rules that we um, understood in the last couple of videos, put everything together and found our values. When you find your argument on that, I'll leave it up to you. That's the way I do it, but I appreciate different people do it different ways. But this is what we should come up with.